गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स नमस्कार यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर नाइन एंड अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल एंड आई एम कुसुम प्रसाद सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट्स अ लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन फॉर क्लास नाइन एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश एंड द टॉपिक इज वॉयस एंड टेंसेस एंड टू टीच दिस सब्जेक्ट अवर टूडे इज एक्सपर्ट इज मिस पूनम कपूर मैम वेलकम मैम बहुत बहुत स्वागत आपका इस सेशन में वेरी मच कुसुम मैम and good afternoon students so, uh, so ma'am is pgt english from kendri vidyalay delhi so before we begin this session i will tell you about various medium where you can contact us you can send your queries your feedback you all can contact us on number 8800440559 and you can also email us on our email id that is डीटीएच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन ऑल्सो ड्रॉप योर मैसेजेस योर क्वेश्चन योर क्वेरीज एनी फीडबैक ऑन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल सो लेट्स बिगेन दिस सेशन मैम श्योर कुसुम मैम गुड आफ्टरनून चिल्ड्रेन सो टूडे इज टॉपिक एज हैज बीन टोल्ड टू यू इट इज वॉइस एंड टेंस एंड इट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द ग्रामर So, uh, grammar section now first of all let me remind you that the topic voice is related it is connected with the most important part of speech that is uh, verb verb there are eight parts of speech and one of them is verb voice is related with verb so what is verb verb is action word or the doing word isn't it yes so verbs are of two kinds one is transitive verb and the other one is intransitive verb so intransitive verbs voice is only related with transitive verbs okay so my f- uh, question is also this ma'am what is transitive verbs transitive Please verbs kusum um, it is like a group of words when it is written in a proper form it makes a sentence so there should be subject and verb subject and verb it forms a sentence hmm. isn't it but now this is intransitive verb but when subject verb and object is there it becomes a it has a transitive verb transitive verb so as i have just said that voice is that form of the transitive verb that shows whether the subject of the sentence is the mm-hmm. doer of the action or has to has the action done to it for example i say ayan played football isn't it ayan played football now who played football ayan so ayan is the doer that means it is hmm. subject subject hmm. and what did ayan play football football so football is object hmm. since object is given there so it is a transitive verb and played played is verb verb tells us about two things hmm. one is the action and it also tells us about tense okay. so that is why the topic of today's lesson is voice and tenses so played tells us that the ayan played football sometimes in the past mm. played isn't it so mm. uh, when a sentence is asked to you uh, in the question in the exam children first of all you will identify the subject verb and object first thing is that you have to identify subject verb and object and when subject verb and object are in s v o order it is said to be the sentence is said to be active sentence or active voice isn't it so now in this sentence ayan played football ayan is the subject and he is the doer of the action that is what action he played football when did he play football played tells us that he has already played football okay ma'am 
uh, ma'am please tell the students how to identify subject verb and object ma'am the, uh, they have to question like this only ayan played football who played football so hmm. anything that answers who so that is subject the doer of the action okay, and ma object can you give some examples yes of course like the uh, sentence is he sells books he sells books now who sells books who who sells books who sells books he he sells books he sells books who sells books he sells books so the answer to the question who is he he sells book so he is the doer of the action and this is subject what does he sell what does he sell he sells books, books. so books is object, object. and sells tells us the action as well as the tense hmm. tense in the sense sells sells it is present tense so he sells books this is how you will identify s v and o the hmm. other sentence will take like i have returned the book i have returned the book who has returned the book i hmm. so i is the doer that means hmm. i is subject what have i done i have returned is the verb and what have i returned it book. is the book i have returned so this is object hmm. so here the action of the subject uh, the uh, ayan is the subject i uh, he sells books he is the subject i have returned the book i is the subject so these are the doer of the actions and hence it is active voice now when in all this when the uh, subject or the doer is transferred like in these all these sentences the subject is the doer of the action that is the verb in these sentences is uh, expresses the actions performed by the subject hence the verb in these section in these sentences are said to be active voice now let us see carefully these sentences books books are books are sold by him books are sold by him hmm. now what are sold books first we were answering who hmm. who was the doer hmm. now books are sold what are sold books are sold so books is object and what are what is done with the books they are sold, sold. this is verb as well as it tells us about the tense hmm. and and it is preceded by 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 you will write the preposition by when it is passive voice by him him is uh, he changes into him this is subject so now here we observe that the subject is the receiver the subject is the receiver he receives the action the verb expresses what is done to the subject the verb in this form is said to be in the passive voice so you have seen that in this it is the form of the verb in the sentence which shows whether the subject is the doer or it is the receiver when it is receiver um voice is the form of the transitive verb which is used to tell whether the subject of the sentence is acting or it is receiving the action expressed by the verb so i am sure that it is clear to you that voice is that form of transitive verb which uh, which shows whether the subject of the sentence is the doer or of the action or has action done to it now active voice we have um, just seen one example another example i'll tell you the boy hit the ball the boy hit the ball hmm. so active voice clear uh, adds clarity and places responsibilities where it belongs the boy hit the ball who hit the ball the boy the boy what did the boy do hit hmm. what did he hit the ball hmm. so the boy is subject uh, he hit the uh, he hit the ball isn't it so how will we change it into passive voice the ball was hit by the boy you may write by hmm. you may not write by hmm. so the ball uh, the ball was hit
isn't hmm. it the ball was hit by the boy hmm. isn't it if the action is more important than the agent or if the agent is not known you can write like that also the ball was hit, hit. now let us see how we change models should can could may might must or to hmm. these are models how models in active voice are changed into passive voice when the sentence is should take should take so in the passive it becomes should be taken because third form of the verb is used and be is this be form is preceded before the verb can take can be taken could take could be taken may take may be taken might take might be taken must take must be taken ought to take ought to be taken you must go through the, this table so that you do not have any difficulty hmm. now how are the passives of imperative sentences changed yes ma'am let's come to imperative sentences yes uh, first you tell ma'am what are imperative sentences to our students uh, kusum now? children they know children i'm sure that you know that imperative sentences are the sentences which convey any command or the request isn't it so like shut the door hmm. you are told to shut the door so how will you um, um, change it into passive voice you will use the uh, you will use let let the door be shut again shut the door the door is subject and you will use let the door be shut and when it is request kindly help him you are requested you will proceed such kind of sentences you are requested you are informed you are warned according to the sentence you will write like this you kindly help him you are requested to help him now uh, the passive voice requires a double verb hmm. one verb the action word and the other verb is linking verb the main verb in the form of past participle and the other is linking verb linking verb linking verb is like what are linking verbs suppose it is the given word is am is are was were be being been these are linking verbs and the second verb is the main verb in the form of past participle so the passive voice requires a double verb now how to change the subject nouns the subject the doer i in the active voice changes into by me in the passive voice now by often passive voice sentences they contain the preposition by so i changes into by me we by us you changes into by you he by him she by her it changes into by it they by them and any name is by that name is that clear so this is also an important table which tells you how the subject is changed how the subject is changed okay ma'am ma'am now yes let's come to the tenses i told you that the mm -hmm. verb tells you about tenses as well as about the action that is ta that takes place so first of all we'll see when it is simple present mm -hmm. tense isn't it simple present tense yes ma'am please tell general rules to change the tenses to our students ma'am all right um let me try to explain the students mm -hmm. when in active voice the um, it is a, sim a simple present tense sentence and the suppose the verb is take or takes then in passive voice it is changed into is taken if singular and if it is plural then you will change uh, write it as are taken when it is present continuous tense am taking is taking are taking how you will identify its present continuous tense by these words am is are just now i have told you and in passive voice it changes into is being taken if it is singular and are being taken if it is 
plural and now let's come to perfect tense present perfect tense how will you identify present perfect tense it is has taken or have taken isn't it has taken if it is singular have taken if it is plural mm. so has taken changes into has been taken and have take been take have taken changes into have been taken so the tense has to be correct if you want to score full marks now let's come to the past tense simple past tense in the sentence second form of the verb took is there and took changes into was taken if singular were taken if it is plural past continuous was taking singular were taking plural and was taking changes into was being taken continuous tense if it is a continuous tense you must add the word being b e i n g in passive form and were taking it were being taken third form of the verb preceded by being and when it is past perfect tense like it is had taken it changes into had been taken and similarly the last tense future tense tense means time so verb is telling you about the time as well as the action will take shall take changes into will be taken shall be taken in the passive form simple future tense if the uh, sentence has has going to be i am going to take a cake so cake is going to be taken by me it is simple future tense and it is changed in this manner she is going to take two cakes two cakes are going to be taken by her going to be is used there if it is simple future and future perfect will have taken how will you identify that it is future perfect tense if it has will have and the form of verb and it changes into will have been taken now let's come to the sentences children this, uh, this will take some time to practice and you will i'm sure you will be able to master it now let's take some sentences and change from active voice change them from active voice to passive voice the sentence is james writes the letters so you will first of all identify the subject verb and object james writes the letters who hmm. writes the letters james. james so james is subject what does he do he writes hmm. so writes has given you two informations one the action he is doing that is writing and writes tell you that it is present tense and what does he write the letters hmm. so the letters is the object so in the passive voice it will become first of all you will write object or what is object the letters hmm. the letters are written because letters is plural and writes uh, was in present tense hmm. so the letters are written by james. james by preposition you will put and then the doer of the action subject past simple now james wrote the letters james wrote the letters who wrote the letters james, james. so james is subject hmm. and because it is past tense now you will write ver written hmm. because it is plural were written by james now the letters were written by the letters james. were written by james absolutely hmm. kusum it is like this and similarly james is writing the letters hmm. could you identify what tense is this james is writing the letters present continuous correct because writing ing hmm. is written and i have just now told you that whenever there is ing you must put being being, being in the passive hmm. form the letters the letters are being, being written, written by, by james. james identify the tense and please write the uh, linking verb accordingly yes ma'am it need practice and practice makes a man perfect absolutely correct mm -hmm. and when it is grammar mm -hmm. uh children need to practice yes, more and more and now the exams are approaching near mm -hmm. and i'm sure that our children are going to do very well in this uh, topic ma'am what type of questions come in exam please quickly tell us to our students see they get three types of questions mm -hmm. from passives mm -hmm. one is that fill in the uh, gap filling exercise fill mm -hmm. in the blanks with the right form of the uh verb Verbs. with the right form hmm. of the verb yeah fill in the blanks with the passive form now passive when they are required to fill in the blanks with the passive they must write the third form of the verb hmm. and the linking verb should be according to the tense okay isn't it and second type of sentences they get is they get instructions 
how to prepare a cup of tea how hmm. to make jam how to hmm. polish your shoes so um, process is given steps hmm. of process are given and after that a paragraph is written and children are supposed to fill in the gaps in the passive form okay isn't it and then simple sentences of course sometimes do as directed sentences are like the scientists had found the cure the scientists had found the cure hmm. so uh, who had found the cure the, the scientist. scientist so what is scientist it hmm. is the subject it is the hmm. doer had found is the uh, verb hmm. past tense past perfect had is used so it is perfect tense hmm. the cure is the object so how you will change it the cure had been found, found. you may write the scientist you hmm. may not write okay. the scientists okay right ma'am so now uh i will take a uh, look of uh, some examples examples yeah like the sentences they will arrange a party they hmm. will arrange a party who will arrange a party they they will arrange a hmm. party so they is subject or you can say the doer hmm. will arrange will hmm. arrange tells us two things one they what will they do they will arrange hmm. and will say tells that in the coming times future tense hmm. a party so a party is the object so a party will be arranged by them you may write mm -hmm. you may not write so will be b e b blinking verb you will be using isn't it and now my uh, tip important tip to the student uh, students read the sentence carefully identify whether the subject is the receiver or he is the doer the verb expresses what is done mm. isn't it what is to be done the verb in this form is said to be in the passive voice okay ma'am it's time to wind up the session so, uh, so you before want to say we, anything uh, before we wind up yeah. let me take one another sentence inform the police hmm. so this is imperative sentence so let they will use the word let let the police be and we can take only one example only because uh, no time is left time is not yeah. permitting yeah. okay so the boys are running a race hmm. who who is running the race the boys the, boy. the boys hmm. what uh, what is the boys subject hmm. doer what are they doing they are running so it is verb and it is present tense so being should be used there and what are they running they are running a race hmm. so whenever there is ing they must use be being being there okay, isn't it fine yes. ma'am it's time to wrap, wrap up this session thank you so much ma'am for providing so many information uh, regarding today's topic voice and tenses thank you so much ma'am thank you have a nice day namaskar thank you so much kusum i'm sure our students have understood this if they have any questions they can always yes. mail to us they can send their feedbacks on our various video which i have earlier told them so uh, students uh, thank you for watching this session and it's time to wrap up this session but you don't go anywhere stay connected to e with the channel take care bye bye namaskar